Do you guys have those days where you're just emotional? Like every little thing you see, you're like, huh, huh, huh. I see a grandpa, I'm like, huh. I see a little dog, huh. someone moves their hand, I'm like, huh. Hello! Hello, my bees, it's your girl Honey, and today I'm gonna be eating spicy beef noodles and dim sum, so let's dig in, cause I'm so hungry! Cheers, Shalom Bao! Mmm. So Shaolong Bao is a soupy dumpling. Usually it comes out really hot, right? So when it comes out, you wait a little bit, you bite the top off, and then you drink some of the juice in there, and then you eat the dumpling. Isn't it so cool how some soup stays in this dumpling? Next, let's try our beef noodles. Mix it together. So this is a Taiwanese dish. And I remember when I lived in Taiwan, this is... Anything with minced pork was my favorite. First bite, honey bite. Mmm, I remember that flavor. Mmm. And I have spicy wontons here. Wonton, the flour, is a little bit more thinner than dim sum or dumplings. Mmm. A shrimp in here. Mmm. And another spicy wonton. Mmm. Let's try this pork bun. I don't know if you guys know, but I'm a chili oil fiend. When I went to travel in London one time, there was this really popular Chinese restaurant near the place I was staying. I ate literally 20 chili oil little plates. I was like, excuse me, can I just get like five at a time? And they kept going, oh, you want another one? You want another one? Another one? Let's try the pork bun. Mmm. These pork buns, I remember eating them in Taiwan when you go to a 7-Eleven. They have these buns, pork bun, shrimp bun, chicken bun. I think Asia has the best convenience stores. I came to 7-Eleven here and I was like, what that? In Korea, you can just eat at the convenience store. Pour some hot noodles or put your hot frozen food into the microwave and eat it there. Here it's just like icy burrito sandwiches. I remember even in Taiwan they had those brown eggs at 7 Eleven. Can you guys believe that? Let's take this huge bite. Just some pork and veggies. Get two wontons. You know what's best with chili oil? Fried rice. 
I'm gonna try dunking this in chili oil. Mmm, never disappoint. So some of you guys know and some of you guys don't know that my brother had brain tumor before and some of you guys ask Kenny what is it like living with your brother B and you guys ask oh do you live with just your brother B or your whole family I live with just my brother B the reason I'm bringing this up is because some of you guys did ask what it's like living with him and because I went to go see the neurologist today with my brother Guess what guys, because of what's going on in the world right now because of the virus, they wouldn't let anyone else other than the patients go into the hospital, which is very understandable. But I really wanted to be there because my brother has been really forgetful ever since he had the surgery and I wanted to know the reason why. We did actually go see a doctor for this before. Not a neurologist, but I think she was a psychiatrist. I'm not sure, but when he took the test, um, that doctor before told us that he was just like any other average 30-year-old. But living with him, I knew he wasn't because he was very forgetful. So for example, even today, before I came to the studio, right? My brother ate lunch by himself. You know, we had leftover fried rice and Thai food. So I told him to microwave it and take care of lunch by himself, right? And I come to the kitchen and what do I see? An empty box from the fried noodles that he ate. And then the Patsy Yu Thai noodles on the bottom, which he didn't touch. And I was thinking, how come he left this out here when he didn't finish eating the noodles? So I asked him, hey brother, how come you left the noodles out and you left the empty fried rice box out? And he goes, oh, I forgot. So it's kind of like those little things that he forgets. And sometimes he actually forgets to turn off the stove, which is really dangerous and which is very concerning. And I told the previous doctor this before. She said he was like any other average 30 year old. And I was like, are you sure? And that was about, I think, three years ago. And I haven't seen any improvements with my brother, right? So I asked my brother's main doctor again. You know, he's been really forgetful. I'm concerned. I've been trying to help him. And so he signed us to a neurologist and we finally saw him. Because I couldn't go in, they virtually called me and I, I felt like I was in the room. He put me on the speaker. He did the test with my brother so that I could also hear what he remembers and what he doesn't. Um... This was essentially the same test he took three years ago and the doctors before told us that he was completely okay. Well, this doctor, told me that he's able to store things in his memory, but he has trouble recalling them. And that's basically what the problem is. When I ask him to do something, 
He'll remember, he'll repeat it. I'll tell him to repeat it in his own words to me, what I asked him to do. But then he'll forget. He'll forget about it after like 15, 20 minutes later. Once this whole quarantine is over, we're going to have to scan his brain and see what exactly is wrong with his brain because his MRIs came out clean, but we don't know what's going on and why he has a memory loss. The doctor said he might be having minor seizures before he falls asleep, which completely wipes out his memory while he's sleeping, which I think might be what it is. So if you ask what it's like living with my brother B right now in his condition, I have to remind him and ask him and check up on him every time if he did this, if he did that, or if he finished this, if he finished that. And I have to always check after his traces. Some of my honeybees said their husbands, their boyfriends also have brain tumor. And if you guys want to hear the experience from my brother bee, let me know in the comments down below. And if he is okay with it, I will have him come on my Henny Eats show and have him explain to you guys. I really hope that we can find the exact reason why he's having this memory loss. So please pray for us, honey bees. Sometimes I do get scared because he forgets to turn off the stove. A few years back, he forgot where he parked his car. He forgot to lock our house door. It's not frequent, but this happens time to time. So we have to keep an eye on him. Oh, my Shaolong bows are waiting for me. They're like, eat me, honey, eat me. You know, I'm really happy that his MRI, his brain is clean. But I always have to be on the lookout and make sure that he's okay. Do you guys have those days where you're just emotional? Like every little thing you see, you're like, oh, oh, oh. I see a grandpa, I'm like, oh. I see a little dog, oh. someone moves their hand, I'm like, oh. I recently came across this video where this grandpa would always hold a picture of his wife and fall asleep. And so one of the volunteers made him a cushion out of the picture. And he saw the picture of his wife on the cushion and he started hugging it. He, like, oh, he started crying. I started bawling. I'm like, oh. It's just been one of those weeks. What do you guys do when you guys get sad or emotional? Let me know in the comments down below.
This would be good with rice. I bought a little karaoke machine. And when I'm sad, I love listening to music and singing along. So I'm going to be having a karaoke session with my brother B because my brother B loves music and he loves singing. And he loves IU, the Korean singer. Mm. I'm going to finish off with the Shaolong Bows. Three, four, okay, three. One bite. Stay safe and stay healthy. so much for watching hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please go and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and to become a honey bee and like this video if you guys liked it and i'll see you guys in my next video bye